Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React Native video, we will talk about that how we can make a simple form with the React Natives. So these are the points that we have to do for making a simple form. So first of all, we have to define state. Then we have to just take some input fields and buttons. We have to add some style so that screen can be look fine. And after that, we will just submit the form uh, with the, getting the data from every field and uh, with the state and just simple submit the form. So, uh, so first of all, let's go on the app.js file because at the beginner level, this is the right file from here. You can start the code with the React Native. And uh, basically, you can see that this is basically a functional component, but uh, for the form, class components are the much better than the functional component because we have to change the states many times. So class component is better so I'm just going to use the class component here in the next video I'll just show you that how we can make the form with the uh, functional component also so I'm just going to remove the whole code from here and just start with the importing react from react and let's take some uh, input elements from react native from react native right so these can be like view so that we can make wrapper then uh, we can take a button then we can take simply text input right so these are the enough for now now let's define the class name like this is the app file so app class name is more suitable extends react uh, dot component and here uh, let's import it export it export default app right so now uh, now you can see that uh, because there is no render function at all so just define the construct uh, just define the render function first of all and because this is the class component in the class component render function is uh, must so now just use the return here mm. Ah, okay that's my bad I just have to use like this so now return and in the return let's take some view right and here we can just start our code okay so first of all I just want to define the state so that I am just going to make constructor here and with the constructor so first of all we have to call the super and let's define like this dot state and uh, let's take some states like name uh, can be blank at the start email address can be blank at the start and uh, password also can be the blank at the start all right so now let's take some input fields here so just take um, text input text input right so with the text input first of all let's define the placeholder in the placeholder let's enter name is much fine okay so we just got this place placeholder here so let's uh, add some style here so that we can just copy and paste and the uh, more text input will be the same so uh, let's define the border and okay so I just have to use a semicolon here now mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, I don't need that actually so I just have to define the style and uh, with the style just like take border uh, width can be like 2 and uh, border color can be like sky blue right so now you can see that there is a little bit border and um, let's take margin margin can be like um, mm -mm. Uh, 20 pixel is fine All right so anything that we have to define yep uh, one more thing we have to define the event so just write your own change text so this is the basically event and here we can just write the simply code so you can, here we can just update the state also so this dot this dot 
set state and here we can just simply update the name with the uh, text right and text will be just coming from here all right so mm -mm, i hope this is fine okay so now uh, let's some um, provide some style to the top view like uh, margin mm, margin can be 20 yep it's fine so let's just make a copy and paste this field so that uh, you can save the time now we get the three fields let's change the placeholder also enter name enter password All right so for the with the password we have to add one more uh, security key we have to add that because we have to do show the dots on the re replace with the text so just write here a secure text input entry and it should be uh, it will be true right so whenever I am just going to write it here it will just showing the dot to me right great so uh, uh, update the state with that is uh, name and email and uh, password right and at the last let's define the button right and uh, with the button we have to just define the title is like uh, submit and on on press mm. on press function can be like uh, we are just want to collect the some old state and submit at the uh, one place right so I am just going to call here this dot submit function and I have to just write this submit function also where here we can write like submit and uh, for now just write a console dot warn this dot state so we can just check that every state is here or not right so i hope everything is fine um, we can just define the margin top little bit more mm, like uh, 60 pixel so that uh, like 100 is much fine so that we can just look it in, into it in the center okay so now let's try to submit and let's see uh, we have some error or not like name can be like anil a n i l uh, this is my name and the email address like anil the rate test dot com this is not my actual email this is a fake okay and enter password like one two three four all right and now let's try to submit now you can see that at the console we got the every value here right you can see that <coughs> that's sorry my bad like name email address and the password all right with that way we can just collect the every value with the form and we can submit it uh, but for now i don't have any api to submit the form or it's called because in the next upcoming videos uh, we will see that how we can just submit the form with the api also and get the result also so, all right so for the for for that uh, i hope this is fine if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and upcoming videos we will see the same things with the functional component we have to put the validations we have to call the apis and lots of things so don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye